You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. How you doing, Dan? Hey, bring it in, you guys. <laughs> bring it in. Come on, gotta invade, gotta invade your personal <laughs> space. <laughs> It is. Uh, it happens to be National Share a Hug Day. Oh, I love hugs. I'm a hugger. We changed the name mm-hmm. a month ago. That's actually National Joe Biden Day. <laughs> hey, there you go. Um, are you a huggy person, Dan? Is that something that you like? Only or not? if I know it's going to make somebody uncomfortable. Really? I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> is that why you're hugging me right now? Yeah. If, if I pick up a vibe that you just don't want to go through with this, I am on you like a, like a pit bull on a kitty cat. <laughs> When I first married into Heidi's family, uh, I had to start getting used to the whole hugs for everybody. Everybody in my family oh. is big hugger. You know that is kind of a it's kind of a almost a conditioned learned thing mm-hmm. depending on how you're brought up, which is kind of interesting. Yep. Yeah. When I was a kid, we didn't hug. Uh, not a lot. That you know once. No. When I joined his family, I started hugging everybody, and everybody like stiff and uncomfortable. Yeah, for instance, I did a, did a little stint, uh, did a little turn it and burn it to the Twin Cities this, this past weekend. My old yeah. brother Oogs throws his own car show, which yeah. is phenomenal. Dan got, was in the car. He got show. tired of everybody else's car shows, so he just does his own. <laughs> <laughs> but but my <laughs> my brothers Oogie and Buddha are they are not they are not affectionate men. They're <laughs> not, and so I make it up point oh. i just embrace them <laughs> they keep their For arms at awkward their, long they keep their arms at their sides <laughs> get stiff and just go you need to stop that <laughs> <laughs> done there, Dan? <laughs> it's pretty funny that's awesome been going on for years so yeah hey oh. hug somebody people you know why a little human touch yeah yeah when, when i first got into heidi's family i would Good sneak things. out when it was time to leave everybody's getting ready for the big hug line and i'd go the, <laughs> the hug line like yeah i think it's time to go it depends good hug it just man it uh, can can make your day it can absolutely indeed. so go hug somebody Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. Do you have a credit card? Is it the very best credit card? Many people get their credit card as a response to an offer that was mailed to you. These are typically not the best cards. Check the fine print for the fees and interest. We have a website that compares many different cards being offered so you can find the one that's the best fit for you. If you'd like to find a better credit card, we'd love to help at bettercreditcards.net. There's no obligation. Just click and compare to see if we can get you a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Sunny 93.3, time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. <laughs> Well, I like to poke bears and lasso ducks and kill them possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan! Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. <laughs> well, I loves all the critters and the campers, too, but if you're wearing Crocs, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan! Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. Good hey, morning, Ranger, Ranger Dan. Dan. Hey, Good morning, Ranger Dan. Hello, Radio Rangers. John, Heidi, how's, how's everything in Smallville? Good? Things are good. Beautiful. You been out rangering? Yes. Always. Always rangerin'. Junior rangerin', yes. Got to be aware. I think we'll take a little time and talk uh, talk a little skunk here this morning. Ooh, okay. yeah. Gather around your radio there, little rangers, and, uh, and take some notes. Hmm. This is important. Skunks are nocturnal. Okay. That's, uh, that's Latin for they only come out at night. Nice. If you see a skunk during the day... Don't hang out with them. Chances are it's rabid, and if you're a little radio ranger, you're carrying at least a 9 millimeter semi-auto, just <laughs> take it out. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out, let the lead fly, put a bullet in its head. Nice. Another couple interesting facts, and this uh, it's kind of a myth been going on forever. Should you be unfortunate enough to be sprayed by a skunk, that smell is... Tough to get out, man. It is something It's else. awful. It's also extremely flammable. Really? What? What they spray is very combustible, really? very flammable. That is a this. true story. So I could use that as like a way to start my fire pit. You could. If you pick up a skunk and just... Point it, squeeze it, it, light it. 
<laughs> oh, flamethrower. Yeah, there's it. up to, up to ten to twelve feet that'll go. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You can do some damage. Yeah. There you go. Uh, but here's the thing: you hear about okay, trying to get that scent off you. Okay. And people are thinking, well, tomato juice. That's what I've heard. That's what I've yeah. heard. That will mask the scent. Or peanut butter. That does not get rid of the scent. Peanut it, it will butter. Wait, that's if you get gum in your hair. Never. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> Both the only real way to do it is with baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Really? I hadn't heard that. Yep. Never heard of that. That is a true story. Also, should you be sprayed by a skunk, it's pretty much your own fault. They will warn you. In fact, they will do various little, it's almost like little dance steps. Yeah. That is a true story. They'll stomp their feet. They'll twitch their tail. Some skunks will even stand on their head. No kidding. Oh. Honest to goodness. Be- before they, they let it rip, because they honestly do not want to spray, because when they do spray, they're incapacitated for a while because they got to reload. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a true story. They kind of have to crash and burn. So, oh. you know, they would just as soon, uh, just as soon not spray Interesting. it. I've yep. never seen a skunk standing on its head. I'll have to pay closer attention. All kinds of fancy stuff. And if you see skunks, they normally just travel as a family, too. They're a family unit, which is interesting. Nice. Yep. Well, that's cool stuff. Well, thank you, Ranger Dan. We learned a lot today, Ranger Dan. One more little fact. What's that? Johnny Depp, during an interview years ago, when he was first playing the character of Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, yeah. He says, now, I knew that he was using Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richards as kind of a model for that. Yeah. He said the other part of that character was taken from... Famous cartoon skunk, Pepe, Pepe Le, Le Pew. Pew. Oh, I love yeah. Pepe Le Pew. I love Pew. Pepe, too. Yeah, I always thought he was cool. He was out. Yeah, they can't, uh, they can't show his cartoons anymore because of the whole Me Too movement. But. No kidding. So this is taking up. <laughs> All right, we'll let John stew on that a little bit, little Radio Rangers. Uh, say your prayers, go to church, eat your veggies, uh, don't play soccer, and goodness gracious, don't wear Crocs. That's what I'm wearing right now. I <laughs> Ranger Dan out. Yes, sir. It's been Ranger Dan's Critter Corner on Sunny 93.3. The inventor of Rippet Gloves has been a drywall guy for decades. He was trying to find gloves that worked for him and his crew, but nothing was quite right. So he went out and created some. Rippet Gloves fit firm in your hand and protect your hands, but still allow you to use a touch screen. Professional athletes love the extra grip Rippet Gloves gives them. Painters, roofers, contractors, but also motorcycle and horseback riders. See why everyone loves Rippet Gloves at RippetGloves.com. Use promo code radio to save 25%. That's R-I-P-I-T Gloves.com promo code radio. Sunny 93.3 time now for Water Cooler Talk brought to you by Aqua One. We've got Mr. Dan Ferris in here with a lot of information to share. Oh boy, I've been burning the midnight oil. I haven't slept in days, chewing up the shoe letter, pounding on desk, demanding answers. Yes. A couple of guys had to do a water rescue down Falls Park a couple days back. I saw that. They should put up some railings. They should do something. Sioux Falls Wait, Police, Sioux Falls help. Fire Rescue responded to Falls Park in a water rescue. A uh, 14-year-old kid, and they were from out of town, somewhere else, different state, whatever, not important, uh, but they're doing a little photo op. 14-year-old son fell in. Oh, man. 55-year-old dad went in after him. Son managed to swim himself to shore. Dad didn't, but water rescue got there in time. Pulled him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, that's on the heels of a uh, tragedy from a uh, mom and a kid from Iowa right. a yeah. little, little while back. You can't go out Sad. there on those rocks. I mean, well, they have railings, and somebody shared a photo of the new railings and the sign, and yeah. then there were some people standing on the rocks on the other side. They're like, glad we spent almost $300,000 yeah. on this. The observation deck. Observation deck and all the stuff. Which may have been kind of a knee-jerk reaction, a lot of money, but here's the thing. It's a river. Yeah, it, it is. Stay away. So this is what's going to happen now according to City Hall. And again, I have people everywhere. Okay. Uh, falls area, the falls down to just about where Smithfield Foods is Formerly now. Formerly John Morrell. Okay, that's, uh, that's all going to be filled in, concreted. Oh, okay. It's going to fill it in, surface it. Parking okay. ramp. It's going to be a parking <laughs> ramp, multi-use, retail space. <laughs> Hotel with a craft brewery. Okay. Oh, that's see? a great that's idea. That's a good use for Because when that. you think about we it, don't it have any of everybody that. hitting the drink down there is tourists, and we can't screw up the tourist trade. So. Yeah, we need to. Now we'll give them something to do while they're floating so downstream. What, uh, They'll that's be able what to do. And, uh, reach up and grab a beer. We'll have some uh, undersized, overpriced loft space included, too. That so. is awesome. There you go. I didn't know all that stuff. Dan, thank you very much for... Uh, it's what I do, John. Filling us in around here. I don't believe any of it, <laughs> but I, I do appreciate all of it. <laughs> We've got, uh, coming up here in a bit, Jeff Harding with our very last interview before 
we give away the tickets because yeah, that's coming up that's this week. Coming up. Aerosmith, if you'd like to win, How all exciting. the details, sunnyradio.com. Join us for a fun week in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic for the third annual 80s in the Sand. We've been there the last two years. In addition to making a bunch of awesome new friends, we had so much fun meeting 80s actors and musicians. 80s in the Sand takes over the entire resort, so you'll mingle with them at the pools and the restaurants too. We'd love to have you join us. See the amazing lineup featuring Sammy Hagar and many more at RadioTravelGroup.com. Save $200 per person for first-time guests at RadioTravelGroup.com. Sunny 93.3, thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour. We've got uh, part of our bonus hour each Tuesday and each Thursday. We visit with Jeff Harding from Crescent Real Estate Group. And uh, this is kind of a, an exciting time right now, Jeff, because this is kind of like the last chance to sign up to win the Dream Concert Giveaway with Aerosmith. We're going to be giving that away on Thursday. Absolutely. it's This is the week. The, the big giveaway is going to happen, so... Fire up the umbrella drinks and the air guitar. It's going to be time to – somebody's going to be winning a trip, getting on a plane and going to Vegas. We're going to fly them out on Monday and fly them back on a Friday. And that last night they're there on Thursday night, they'll be seeing Aerosmith at the MGM Grand. While they're there, they're going to be staying in a king suite at the Luxor Hotel. Huge pool. It's one of the biggest pools in Vegas, so – you're going to spend three days sitting around a pool drinking umbrella drinks, and then the last night you're there, it's all going to end with Aerosmith concerts. So. I think it's going to be a pretty darn good time. If you have not yet signed up, now is a good chance to do that. SunnyRadio.com. You'll see a link to go right to it. Again, SunnyRadio.com. And since this is all a, a time to talk about real estate, we should probably talk a little bit about that. If somebody is in the market to sell a home in Sioux Falls, is this a, an okay time to sell a home? It is. You know, the inventory in our used market here in Sioux Falls just keeps on replacing itself. It's crazy. For every house that's sold that day, there's another house being listed. And um, depending on what price range you're in, there's plenty of inventory. The big thing is, is being prepared, working with a good real estate agent. So when you find the house that's the right house for you, you're ready to make an offer and get moving on it. And right now would be a great time if you're thinking, hey, I want to get moved before school starts. Now would be a great time to start looking, and maybe you can look in the specific school district that you want to be in, and uh, Jeff can help you find all of that. If they'd like to reach out and have you as their realtor, how do they get a hold of you? They can give me a call, 605-521-3000. And also, if somebody's looking at selling a home, and a lot of our sellers are also buyers unless they're moving out of the area. But if you're looking to sell a home, I mean, just recently they announced the latest report on interest rates and mortgages. I mean, I I don't foresee it ever getting lower than it is now. It is crazy that these mortgage rates are as aggressive as they are. But it's a great t- time to not only buy a home, but if you're se- you're looking to sell a home, there really isn't any reason to wait till next spring if you're ready to list your home now. So it's a great time. Give us a call. We can help you do a free, uh, what we call a CMA, a comparative market analysis. We look at your home, all the features of your home, the neighborhood that it's in. We compare it to other homes that have recently sold in those areas. And we tell you how strong the market is by showing you what we project your home can bring in this market. Very nice. And if you'd like to do all of that, CrescentCells.com is the website. And what is the phone number to reach out and talk to you directly? Uh, 605-521-3000. And we've got some exciting stuff to do on our next program. Next time we talk, we're going to be calling the winner of the Dream Concert Giveaway. So if you haven't signed up yet, we can't call you if we don't have a way to call you. So go on and register right now. Go to sunnyradio.com. You can also go to our Facebook page, the Crescent Real Estate Facebook page. Uh, there's a link on all of those different pages that'll take you right to the contest. It takes you about 15 seconds to sign up, so it's not like it's going to take a long time. And then uh, we're going to be selecting the winner tomorrow, and then we're going to be calling and putting them on the radio on Thursday morning. I'm excited to do that. I am too. I mean, so like we've been saying, I mean, we keep, from the moment we kind of discussed what we wanted to include in this concert trip giveaway, I mean, just this vision that 
This is going to be such a cool trip. And now here we are. Somebody's actually going to win this thing this week. So It's pretty darn cool. If you haven't signed up yet, do it right now. Jeff, thank you again, sir. Thank you. Again, Jeff Harding with Crescent Real Estate Group, 605-521-3000. They're online at crescentcells.com. And you can register right now to win the Dream Concert Giveaway at sunnyradio.com. Credit cards. They can be trouble. About 12 years ago, we did a debt snowball program and got rid of our credit cards. We were debt-free except for our house. It was awesome. But over the course of the next decade, our credit score went down. That sounds weird, but they need open accounts to give you a score. Our lower score made our insurance rates go up. We decided to get a credit card to help with that. We just pay it off every month. If you want a better credit card, check out BetterCreditCards.net. They help you compare all the different cards to get the best one for you. That's BetterCreditCards.net. Sunny 93.3, time now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Liberty. Fabulous. A fabulous, including the really super hip ones where you look at them and you go, well, they have all that money, but look at them. They look kind of, I don't know downtrodden. Their <laughs> jeans are ripped up. Look at that. They're just wearing like a t-shirt and just some kind of weird jewelry, but they look really dirty or kind of greasy, sort of like Johnny Depp. But here's the thing. That look cost tens of thousands of dollars. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yep. That's how hip that is. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Box office over the weekend? What do you think the big movie was? What do you think the number one? I don't even know what's in theaters right now. Was it Toy right Story now? still, or is that not? That's probably done. That's still in the running. That's been mm-hmm. out for a little while, but uh, Quentin Tarantino has oh. just Oh, set, that's right. He well, just started yeah, another one. He has set his own box office record as number far nine. as his history of movies go. Uh, Quentin's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood opened the theaters Friday to 40 million smackers. Oh, wow. 40 million. The film, which stars Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, Margot Robbie, uh, opening day took in almost 17 million all by itself. So there you That's go. That's cool. Uh, Lion King's at number two, 75 million over the weekend, a total of 350 million so far. So how much did... How much did they bring in with the other one? If Lion King was seventy five million, they said it was forty for the number one. It was one hundred and forty million? I don't know. I said it's a record for a Quentin Tarantino. Oh, film. I got gotcha. you. Okay, John, you got to focus, man. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> got to focus. I know exactly what I'm doing. Thirty eight years of broadcasting. How many awards have I won? The, that none. whole shelf of zero so. would be none. I am the most consistent broadcaster <laughs> in the business. <laughs> Never won a one. Never, not ever. And what are my intentions for awards? Zero. <laughs> We're going to submit you for some awards this year. We're going to see if we can get you some. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man Far From Home has dragged in uh, $344 million so far. That's at number three. And Toy Story 4 is in fourth place this weekend, bringing in $10 million, but still scoring almost $400 million. That's just stateside. That is awesome. That's, that's insane. Out, so. That is very, very cool. There's a lot of a lot of good movies out right now, so we've not seen any of those. We got we got to get out. More. I never need to see another movie. I just don't. As long as you watch John Wick as long over as and over. John Wick keeps showing up on my TV. I'm good. Yeah, you you like that. Now, how many times have you seen John Wick? John Wick, I have watched in its entirety. Seriously, maybe nine times. Which movie? But would I've you seen say, bits and pieces dozens of times. Which movie would you say you've seen the most? Like in my life? Yeah. Is there a movie oh, that you've boy. watched a bunch? Wow. I've got a friend that it's Wizard of Oz, which I've seen like four or five times, but they've seen it like 27 times. I never liked times. that movie. See, I grew up with Wizard of Oz, and it used to be an annual event. Oh, yeah. So that may be true, because it came it on once year. a year, and it was a family affair, you, and honey, it was what a big movie deal. What movie would you say? The Burbs, for the sure. The Burbs is the one you've seen the, the most? the one I've seen the most. I've probably seen that maybe second or third most, because... Caddyshack, I've watched a number of times. Oh, yeah, I've seen Caddyshack. Uh, the Replacements, starring who? Keno Reeves. Keno Reeves, <laughs> who I have a <laughs> long and storied <laughs> bromance with. <laughs> Oh, Kino, stop it. You're a nut. <laughs> I, I think for me it would have to be Back to the Future because I've seen that a lot. You have seen that so, a lot. And I'm super excited because uh, we're going to have a guy who owns the time machine. One of the time. He's going to be my guest on the radio tomorrow. I'm so excited. So a lot of fun stuff. Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Sure, sure. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Coming up here in just a moment, we have Tuesdays with Charlie that's on the way on Sunny 93.3.